Welcome to One Quick Question with InfoMedia, your source for answers to your questions about websites, digital marketing, and more. I'm your host, Carrie Rollwagon, and today we're here with Russell Marbit. Welcome, Russell. Hello. Can you tell people what your job title is here at InfoMedia and then also what your other business is? Because that's what we're talking about today. Yeah. Uh, I'm a developer here. Uh, I build and support websites. Um, and I'm a co-owner of uh, Ohm Jiu-Jitsu, which is a jiu-jitsu studio in Avondale. Yeah. So when did Ohm open? Like Late February, I think. Okay. So... Um, you're a pretty new business owner Mm -hmm. and that's kind of what we wanted to talk about today because a lot of uh, our listeners and our clients own small businesses. Mm -hmm. Um, so they have a lot of questions about what should their website say, like what should be on social media. And, um, I've heard a lot of positive comments about your social media. So I wanted to bring you on and ask you some questions about it. Um, so where do you concentrate your efforts? Like, are you everywhere? Do you have like a TikTok and a Snapchat and whatever? Or are you concentrate on certain things? Uh, I'm almost wholly focused on Instagram and I'm di- I'm doing a little bit on YouTube. All right. Uh, how did you choose those platforms? Uh, well, for jujitsu, it's such a visual art. Like, I think people want to see it, yeah. you know, so Yeah. So why not like TikTok or something? I just don't care for TikTok yeah. mostly. Like I feel like almost all of our developers are like no TikTok. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, so I, I don't know much about TikTok, but I assume it's less like local too. Like the you're getting more like you're going more on an explore page that's being shown to like the whole world than yeah. an explore page that is likely to be shown to your like followers yeah Yeah. and yeah i don't know like the details of that but i do think like the gist of what you're saying i think is true and that i do think like like i think it's a different strategy for you have a small business that's a brick and mortar that you're trying to get people to come to yeah like even there was this contest i was entering for infomedia about like national advertising and at first i was like hey you could do this for um but then it's like well what would be the point like, yeah. why would you want to advertise nationally? You want to be very local because you're yeah, in, in... I want, like, the 15 miles around me yeah, type thing. Yeah. Um, and also, I think you and just I don't use... sell anything online either. Yeah. I mean, if I sold products online, then that yeah. would make more sense. Again, I don't know much about TikTok. This is just kind of, like, from an outsider view Yeah. what it seems like. Well, I think it's still relevant because I think one reason it... Instagram is working for you is because you use Instagram the most. I think there's an argument to be made for the tool that you're actually the most familiar with and interact with the most. You're probably going to use the best. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I know how to use Instagram, you know, obviously. And it seems like other businesses around use Instagram a lot too. I don't know. Maybe they're on TikTok, but like, you know, the collaboration and stuff happens a little more there. I think that makes sense. Tagging and resharing and yeah. Whatever else. Um, so what kind of content do you like? What kind of content do you put on Instagram? Mostly just as of right now, like uh, mostly just clips of like people doing stuff in the gym. You know, like I just try to have cool music and and, you know, maybe flashy sort of stuff you know i try to feature my people a good bit like and i'm debating on whether to start putting myself personally and my um co-owner out there a little more to get our personally personalities out there a little more because i think that may be a good idea but a lot of the time i just like to feature my people um yeah so Um, And I think that was easier once the gym opened. I think Mm -hmm. before it opened, it was kind of hard to figure out, like, what are we going to show? Like, when we were ramping up to be... Yeah. um, And I'm... A lot of jujitsu gyms have very bad branding and marketing and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And so I've been very protective of our branding and marketing so far. So maybe more than I even need to. I don't like to come off too salesy, you know, 
and that's for our business. I think for other businesses, it may make sense to do that more. I think we've probably sparred over that sort of thing some yeah. where you're like, be a little more promotional and, and I don't not know always. I mentioned that we were married. I probably should have said that. So yeah. when we're discussing these things, that's why. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> and, but mostly I just want it to be cool yeah. and, and allow people to get a feel for what's going on inside of the gym. Yeah. Well, and I think investing in branding in the first place was something that a lot of people, I think a lot of small business owners just look at it as an additional expense. It's like, okay, well, I could generate a color palette on my own. Yeah. I have a cousin who can do a logo for 200 bucks. Yeah. Like, and that was something that I feel like you put a ton of thought into. Like, we made a major investment as mm-hmm. far as like the percentage that we're spending on stuff in marketing yeah. and branding. And I think yeah. that has helped. I do think it helps your social media so much because it gives you a baseline. It all looks cohesive. Yeah, I can't – if you ignore everything I say, like do not ignore this. Do not skimp on your branding. Don't do it. Don't get your cousin to do it. Don't don't try to do it yourself. Just don't do that. Get someone that knows what they're doing and spend the money. It's It's worth it. Uh, I can't tell you how many compliments I've gotten on our branding. It's It's been featured in blogs, actually, and I've seen other designers around the world compliment our branding. Um, it's I feel like it's very strong, and I felt like it needed to happen, and it helped to give our gym an identity. And I can't stop ordering merch because people want to buy it yeah. because of our branding. So. Yeah. If you take away nothing from this or anything from this, rather, don't skip on your branding. It's yeah, extremely we, important. We made that investment. And then also, like, you have these posters in the gym that are, like, also done by the designer that mm. really make it feel like, yes, like, yeah. communicate the feeling. Shout of the out gym. to Andrew Thompson. Yeah, we could, we should link to Andrew, our designer. A studio that works. Yes. Um, he does a fantastic job. Mm-hmm. He also works with Infomedia some too. So. Um, and then also I think it actually because like we got the first wave designed by Andrew, but you've also used those same things to do your merch. So you're making money off of that. Mm-hmm. And then also I agree because I do other things too. And having a brand guide I think makes – it's so possible to use like Canva or something and yeah. do social media posts that look really professional. Yeah. So I think it pays dividends in that also. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Yeah. And I've, you know, I've used, there's apps and stuff you can use to make videos. And I, I do some video editing. Um, and I like to, shoot photos. I like to shoot video as well. I'm not a professional by any means, but I've dabbled a good bit over the past couple of years. And I just don't have time to like do everything from scratch. So there are apps out there that I use to generate videos. Some if, Mm -hmm. if you're on a budget, um, but any of that stuff you're going to do, if you don't have strong content, which is branding, and at least being able to video a decent amount, um, you're going to have a hard time with. And, I mean, I would definitely suggest hiring media people if you can, at least. We even, do that too. Yeah. Um, Infomedia does a great job of that. Um, I got some of that as well. Um, if you look, most of my recent stuff is professional video from Infomedia. If you hit the, my Instagram right now, um, they really did a great job. But, you uh, can kind of mix and match like yeah. you do because I think do you use like Lightroom or something to make them kind of match or do you just like when you shoot no. video and the th- yeah so it just it automatically yeah looks. I think it was something like Instagram as long as it's not wildly different yeah. you're okay yeah. you know um, and that just gives you some pieces to mix in there yeah because yeah. at first I feel like it was like oh my gosh I have to shoot constantly and i'm also trying to do all the other things of starting a small business yeah. so i think the media team clips just kind of helped to yeah. have like a baseline yeah it definitely bolstered my collateral i can go you know grab clips and and use them easily and i know they look good 
and I know they've been color graded and, and all that sort of stuff. I don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Well, are there any things like that are annoying about having social media or communicating through that or has it all been like a positive or? No, it's all annoying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, it is tough to keep up with because you're trying to run a business, mm-hmm. you know, and this is, it's almost like it's whole side yeah. business. And so I would say to reiterate, like, don't skip on your branding. So you have strong, you know, collateral to work with. And if you can, you know, another thing with hiring a media team, like if you don't know what you're doing at all, you know, I had a little bit, I, I, I've shot a little bit, so I'm not like totally out to sea with this stuff. Mm -hmm. But if I was, I would definitely suggest like maybe hiring a video video team to come shoot some stuff so you can at least see what they do and maybe try to match it a little bit, you know, and mix their clips in as well. And I think it's good to tell them exactly what you want because like I don't Mm. know that if you just walked in to any video studio, like you may get – if you're not clear about like these are my pain points, like mm-hmm. I usually think like don't tell them how to solve your pain point. Tell them what the pain points are. Yeah. And so that way like instead of getting – because if you're not careful, you can get like pay a bunch of money to get a two-minute video that then you can only use once, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it helps for you to say like here's where my struggles are mm-hmm. so that they could be like, okay, we're going to shoot one day. We're going to get – like some we're going to put together some ads for you and we're going to take like 10 to 15 second clips so you can mix and match those how you want you know Mm. or to know you're using them on instagram primarily not the website primarily like that's helpful to know too so yeah um well cool um what is the instagram of om jujitsu so people can check it out it's om jujitsu ohm j-i-u-j-i-t-s-u all three words are kind of hard to spell, but we'll yeah. link to it in the show notes. And yeah. Like, you you could get to it. So. Yeah, you'll find it. Yeah. Um, well, thanks. And if are people welcome to, like, if they live in Birmingham, Birmingham, can they come to a class? Can they come observe a class or come to a free class or anything like that? Yeah, all the above. Uh, you can pop in any time and check the class out. We do a free trial. Um, so you can sign up for a free trial and see if you like it. We have beginner classes that are pretty chill. You know, you're not, you're not going to get beat up or anything crazy like that. Um, and, um, no sign up fee, no contracts. So you can come and go as you please. So it's, uh, in Avondale where seasick records and mom's basement and all that are right. Yep. Cool. Well, thank you, Russell. Um, one quick question is developed and hosted by me, Carrie Rollwagon. Our producer is Elena Harmond. Our theme music is by Brad Davis, and our video and sound engineering are done here in the InfoMedia studios. Find show notes or find out what InfoMedia can do for your website at infomedia.com slash quick question. And we'll leave you with this thought. A real expert helps to clarify, not confuse. So don't take website advice from someone who can't give you a straight answer.